So what are your own thoughts to some of these uh, stories making headlines? Jeffrey joins me now for a review of that and uh, reactions to other stories as well. Hello, Jeffrey. Yeah, Bukola, there's a lot, as always. This is a news station, so <laughs> there's always a lot to talk about. Yeah. Um, the back and forth with the Abdul Nengi's uh, comment, uh, I think it's pretty simple for on both sides. If he's made an allegation, let him present uh, those uh, facts and then uh, whoever wants to refute it should refute it rather than this back and forth. I think what he was saying is in budgeting, there's an amount, there's an item to be spent on, there's a location for that money to be spent. He can trace, in his own view, three about uh, three trillion of what these monies are meant for. So he feels that, is this miscellaneous or something? So if he has those facts, bring it to the press, put it on the table, let's see in what ministries this where these expenditures are coming from, and then we track and we look at all the numbers so that everybody wins. Because he's, he's, he's doubled, he, he doubled down on it. Uh, it's not, it's not backing out. He says he's ready to carry that across. I still stand on what he said. He said I was misquoted for other things. That's not my interest. What I'm, I'm talking about is that three trillion naira. Uh, there is nothing we can trace to it. So if that is his fact, that is let him present it at the end of the day. Um, everybody will be able to know who is saying the truth and who is lying. So. And you're right on the money on that one, yeah. Jeffrey. After all, uh, what do we practice? It's a democracy. It's a democracy. And one of the element of democracy is checks and balances. It, exactly. Uh, so the legislature should stand up to its responsibility. As simple as you know, that. And uh, peruse or scrutinize the budget as the case may be. So. And bring the facts to the table. Let us know if indeed uh, there's a three trillion naira plus that is not exactly covered uh, with um, you know, projects that can be verifiable. Mm. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that turns out. We'll see out. how it plays out. So we're going to, in the coming days, we're watching on how that will play out in the Senate. The Senate has a lot of responsibility, the Ways and Means Committee, to look at all the numbers. But people have always said, when all these committees are set up, and so then what happens? It is not about committees. It's not about all of this. What happens? Now, if you find out these monies were squandered or whatever, well, then what next? We can go back in history, just in the last eight years, and tell you, we've seen this committee and all of these things and all of that. But hey... Let's see how it plays out. Um, let's find out what you're saying. Amifele took out billions of dollars without Buhari's approval. That's coming from the presidency. Uh, uh, there's a conversation with Ajirin Galale, mm -hmm. uh, an exclusive conversation for about two hours where he talked about a couple of things, and you've been reacting to that, which is why Badmos uh, Bimbo actually says, I'm tired of all this nonsense. We, keep, we kept hearing he stole this, he stole that, but nothing has been recovered as of now. I think... Uh, Thanos is right. Half of these people, uh, they need to go. That's his view. Well, we hope that justice, that, you know, justice takes its course. The mm. justice uh, system is effective, you know, to ensure that there is an outcome to all of this. David Christ said, says, you all know that he was a masking. Why not dare to go after them? They're enjoying their loot while you keep suffering. Only the mask. And let's also say that these are all allegations against Godwin Emefiele, who was a former central bank governor, was initially suspended, and of course it was replaced and all of that. So these are all suspensions. Uh, these are all uh, allegations. Trade Tip says billions of dollars. I thought they said Nigeria was broke. Nigeria is not broke, according to them. We'll call that next. Well, this one is from Badmus. Uh, oh, you've taken Badmus, I believe. No, no, no. There's a, this is another bad must. Okay, this is another bad must. Mm. I don't know how Emefiele is going to pay enough for the hardship he caused Nigeria. Buhari's government could have given a stable economy and currency, but Emefiele worked against the Buhari government. Whatever it is, Emefiele must rust. Well, let's again, as we say, it's it's still <laughs> a democracy. It's and still it's on trial still and an uh, allegation, and it's still. Innocent Some, until proven yes, guilty. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it, the adjudication is still on. Mm -hmm. Boltzmann says uh, people don't really understand how much damage the MFL did to our economy and commonwealth from CBN interventions to ways and means to printing Naira at, at will to FX round tripping, not to talk of the actual stealing. The man deserves like a hundred life sentences. It's still an allegation. We can't pass sentence on the MFL. The court has that responsibility. We must always posit that in this post. But hey, we acknowledge your thoughts and we'll also bring them, we'll always bring them to the fore. Something that uh, resurfaces in your thinking this morning is Naira yet again, mm -hmm. uh, starting with uh, Lockhart Lucis, uh, who says, crazy how the value of Naira has dropped so much and price of everything has gone up. God Peking Wayne Norm says, Scandinavia, Scandinavia,
Naira just keep going down without rising again. Two steps down, one step up. That's why it's the word volatility is used. Mm -hmm. All right. This one is from Lesson Owl, who says, when the rate is going down, none of you talk. Now it's going up, you are here again. Nigeria can only get better with our collective efforts. The, this question is, how significant is the gains that the Naira has made in the last uh, couple of weeks? One week, for, to be precise. Uh, uh, considering yeah. where we're coming from, yeah. by the, the way. The truth is that there are two things that are missing from the economy's point of view. Uh, productivity is still low. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough uh, enough in our vaults to, to support the Naira. So <laughs> there's a lot. Ayatollah Abdurrahman says, I think best solution in Nigeria is Nigeria to re-strategize, to join BRICS in order to sell our natural resources with our own currency. So BRICS has to do with that situation that is not part of NATO. Uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Well, Miss um, Ayo just has uh, two lines and uh, she says, it reach our turn to be <laughs> aunties and uncles. I we like know that. they see 10 Naira biscuit again. Yeah, it's not. That's turn. impossible. So when we were kids, <laughs> our aunties and uncles could buy us biscuits of one Naira or 50 Kobo. Now we're now uncles and aunties and even grannies. No, 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 Jeffrey. Yeah. You were kids a long, you were a kid a long time ago, rather. So biscuit certainly wasn't ten naira during I mean, your, I said your ten own cobble. childhood. I said ten more cobble. like ten kobo, yeah, 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 or five kobo. So I'm not that old, by the way. <laughs> in case, okay, UK banned health workers from coming with dependents. This is another ban. Initially, it was students. There are all kinds of restrictions. So, well, we're going to talk about that on the show today. But let's hear what you're saying. Uh, Mr. NMC says they keep banning. This is their new prime minister, who is also a product of immigration, is causing too much problems. Well, uh, he's the son of an immigrant. <laughs> Talking about throwing uh, stones when you're in a glass house. Well, this one is only one neho, and it's just one line. He says, or they say, it keeps getting difficult to japa. Well... The light says this will affect Nigerians the most because Nigerians are the major people living in this country because of our leaders. Because our leaders in search, okay, because of our leaders in search of greener pastures. Mm. Cyril Onyekachi says this is not good for couples, especially newly married couples. Living apart is a big challenge. Mm. Well, it also says something about uh, the, the, the socioeconomic problem at home. We must deal with it. If not, you know, other countries may tow the same path and implement same policy. So what then do we do? It's a concept. I pray families are not murdered yeah. in this circumstance. Yeah. It's a it's very a real problem. It, it has to do with survival. People will survive. It's like water. You can't sort water. If you don't create a path for it, it will create a path for itself. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are too many moving parts to the conversation. Let's move on to other things. Sano Nasu, that is senior staff association of Nigerian University, uh, academic staff, right? Yeah. Senior staff, academic, something like that. Okay. Senior staff association of Nigerian, of Nigerian University. universities Sanu. and non academic staff of Nigerian University, Nasu. They have declared a seven-day warning strike yesterday. And uh, Ahmad Abdul Kader says, going for strike because of a formal salary that was withheld as a result of your last strike. And the Industrial Act clearly stated that striking workers are not entitled to wage for the days being in industrial action, meaning this month also will follow those four months. Well, this one is from Alexander QM. The strike was inevitable anyways. However, the question is, what happens after the strike? Oh, okay. Uh, Stanley says, Omo, make them, give them their funds now. It's very painful to work and not get paid. Uh, nobody say the money, no deal. That's more like the money is there. Why don't you get, why don't you pay them? They are just, well, I can't use that word on, on television. Uh, this is unfair, but it's saying they are wicked, by the way. Well, so many uh, things are unfair in the system, right, and sure. we hope that the authorities are listening either directly by proxy and something will be done uh, to ensure that uh, there's stability in uh, you know, the funding of the tertiary education system. Speaking of funding of systems, we're going to begin the first leg of our conversation with the health sector. So are you interested? Are you a nurse or a doctor? Even if you're not, you're somehow you know, a, a beneficiary or a rightful beneficiary of the system. So stay with us for the conversation. We'll be right back. Absolutely, we'll be right back. 